Hello, my name is Adrian Manella, and I recently had um, Da Vinci robotic surgery um, at Mercy Medical Center with Dr. Oaks. Well, I'm an active individual. Um, I don't like to be um, have a lot of downtime. Um, I had a previous surgery; it was unrelated. Um, it was a conventional surgery. Um, there was a lot of recovery time involved, and when I came to Dr. Oaks, um, and I, you know, became being made it made me aware that another surgery um, you know, was going to be required. Um, what sold me on it was the option of having the robotic surgery. Um, he felt that the recovery time would be you know, almost cut in half. And that's really the reason that I chose to do it that way. Hi, I'm Bruce Orman and I had robot assisted laparoscopic surgery at Mercy Medical Center. The recovery period, fortunately, was uh, what it was advertised to be. It, uh, I was fortunate that my hospital stay was only one night. Uh, it was comfortable. Hi, my name is Trudy Hornick and I had the Da Vinci robotic surgery at Mercy Medical with Dr. Schweitzer. I had had previous robotic surgery at Cleveland Clinic and the um, recovery time was so much less that when that option became available, I definitely wanted it. I'm Lori. Uh, I'm a nurse here at Mercy Medical Center. I had a robotic hysterectomy in uh, April of last year. I had to have a hysterectomy. Um, at that time in my life, April and May, uh, was extremely busy. My son was getting married. My son was going into the draft for the professional football league, um, kids home from school. So, and plus I just didn't want the, sur the major surgery. So I convinced Dr. Domingo, my surgeon, if uh, there was something we could do to expedite my process. I'm Aaron Haney. I had robotic assisted surgery with Dr. Sandu at Mercy Medical Center. The length of time was six weeks. I went back to work. Uh, with no restrictions in six weeks. Um, I didn't have any problem lifting or uh, jumping. I played volleyball uh, without any problem. The thing that sold me on robotic surgery was that um, there, it was the recovery time and it was not going to interrupt my normal everyday schedule. I would be able to return to running, um, you know, to yoga classes, to skiing. I could do everything that, that I could um, without delay. I didn't experience pain. I didn't experience really much pain in the hospital except when I had some clotting appear in the bladder. Uh, even my scar tissue, uh, my incision marks are very slight, very minimal. Um, everything seemed to be so uninvasive. It was less invasive than what I thought. The robotic surgery definitely um, surpassed my expectations. The recovery time was very quick and I was able to get back to my normal activities uh, real soon. Well definitely the time it cuts down on, on recuperation, hospital stay, definitely the comfort zone you're in as you recuperate and being that I'm someone of my age with two young children that I needed to get back to, I've had, the, I've had the physical ability and the mental capacity to get right back in there. Uh, also, I feel that since they did remove the prostate uh, and I've had subsequent uh, blood tests and we do see that the cancer has been removed, I'm content and glad at this point that I sought treatment early for early detection of the cancer. Recovery is... Uh... It depends what you deem as recovery, but my surgery was on a Wednesday. On Friday, two days later, I had lots of errands to do because we were going out of town that weekend. So on Friday, I was running to the grocery stores, regular stores. Saturday morning, we had left for an out-of-state trip, um, yet we had to turn around Saturday evening and come back home because that was also draft weekend. So we wanted to be with our family on Sunday for draft weekend. Um, could have gone back to work on Monday, yet with all that running around, I was extremely tired. So I came back to work on Wednesday, one week after my surgery. I had uh, 
a detached retina a year before and had surgery on it and it was a lot worse recovery than the open heart surgery. Um, actually I had no pain medication. Uh, they had given me a pain pump uh, that you can just squeeze um, right after surgery and I didn't have to use it at all. To me there really was not a recovery period. Um, the only thing that he asked me to do is maybe, I could do anything that I wanted to do as long as I felt like doing it and he just wanted me to, to, to maybe lay off the running for a week or two um, until, you know, things healed inside. On the basis of this experience I would say I would be foolish not to think seriously about robot robotic assisted surgery for other treatment. I think everybody's going to have some reservations about surgery, but um, this is an excellent um, way to be so much more precise and the robotic surgery really made a difference in my recovery. The main concern for us was would I have to have a blood transfusion going into surgery and because there was just such minimal blood loss um, that it didn't have to have that at all. I'm trying to spread the word to everybody. Uh, I think it's great. Um, I had, there was no pain medication that I was required to take after my surgery. Not only the short recovery time, but they're so much less invasive that uh, you don't have the high pain level that you have with traditional surgeries. I really, I just can't speak highly enough about robotic surgery. I mean, I think it's the future. Um, the minimally invasive types of procedures that we're providing, um, the, the, how you get back to work so quickly, um, your activities of daily living, uh, the minimal scarring that there is, all those things that they talk about, it really is true. You can return to your daily activities almost immediately. Um, you know, the pain and recovery time are, are minimal. Yes, I would definitely choose robotic surgery again. Um, for any surgery that I had to have if it's available. Everyone at, at Mercy was, was incredible. I had a great experience uh, from the anesthesiologist to the nurses. They were all wonderful.